Coach, National uh, Letter of Intent Day was this past week. Uh, I know that you were excited to sign four kids. Just talk about you know the excitement level surrounding uh, signing day and then just bringing in your first class as the head coach at Youngstown State. Extremely excited about our 13-14 class. Um, we, we brought in a lot of size, a lot of very smart, high IQ players, um, and we're looking forward to getting them in here next year. Is that kind of the, the MO of your ideal recruit, you know, with some size, with high basketball intelligence, or is there something else that you look for? Well, definitely look for, for good shooting. Um, high IQ is a big part of, of how I like to recruit um, because those type of players can make things happen out of, out of nothing. Uh, and if they can shoot, it stretches the defense, opens up the, the inside even more. Uh, and then once you establish that inside, you kick out and be able to make a lot of shots from three. Um, just with your background, um, you know, in the Big Ten, um, and then at Green Bay especially, because that's something the fans can really relate to. Are these the type of, the, the, the kids that would fit the system maybe at Green Bay, something like that? Definitely. I, we're, we're looking for hard-nosed, tough, blue-collar players. Uh, you know, I think this area, there's, uh, there's a toughness about it. Um, hard-working, blue-collar. I think those type of kids will fit in very well here. I think the fans will relate very well to those type of players, and you can win a lot of games with them. Just geographically, you had one just from across the border in Pennsylvania with Nikki Arbanis, Krista Petropoulos from Pittsburgh, uh, Morgan Olson's from kind of north central Indiana, and then Kelly Wright from the Upper Peninsula. Um, just talk about you know, your recruiting locations, was it kind of your goal to meet the, you know, just blanket the Midwest and cover all that, or did you go further and just kind of something, just your, the, the geographic location where you looked? Well, we, we want to establish ourselves very well in the, you know, the immediate area, one hour, two hour range. Um, Coach DeGregrio, when he was here and, and won a lot of championships and went to NCAA tournaments, he did it with a lot of players within an hour, an hour and a half from Youngstown. Um, and obviously he's a great mentor and someone to lean on and, and did things the right way. So we're looking to kind of establish that ourselves. Um, with Kelly Wright from the Upper Peninsula, I've known her since she was a young young player. She, she came to basketball camps. Uh, and she is you know, a 5'10 guard who can really run the floor, can handle a ball, very high IQ, can shoot the three. She's won three consecutive state championships. Um, you know, so so a winner. You know, that's that's a that's a big thing with, with Kelly. Arbanis is from right across the the border uh, into Pennsylvania. Very tough, hard nosed point guard, a leader. Um, you know, and th those are the type of things that we look for and that we really want in our future. Morgan Olson is a, a power forward who has a great touch around the basket. She can finish um, with contact. She can also step out and shoot. She's tr establishing her three-point range more um, as she gets older, and we will continue to do that to have her step out a little bit farther. And Krista Petropola, she's a six-foot athlete who can really run. She can shoot the three already. She can attack the basket. She's got a nice pull-up for her size in terms of handling in, in terms of handling the basketball also. So, you know, we're, we're very excited about this class. Talk about maybe the, the strengths of recruiting kids from winning programs. Um, obviously, you know, Hickory's pretty good locally, and I know that I got an email earlier in the week that Olson's um, school is ranked fourth in the state right now. Just recruiting kids um, locally, or with, with a winning background. You know, uh, normally the case is if they come from a winning background, they have good coaching through their younger years. They have good coaching in their high school career. They know how to win. They know what it takes to win. Um, so all of those things come out of the equation already. You don't have to teach them all of that. Uh, and, and you want kids that have that, have that drive to be the best and, and you know, to do whatever it takes to win.